Okay, today we're gonna do something a little different. We are gonna roast some coffee and yeah, it's a little bit cold to have a campfire today. There's the old campfire pit back there. Unless you had a cup of your own homemade roasted coffee, which we're doing here today. It's about 25 degrees out here. But here on this side of this building, it gets nice and warm. My heat gun says it's about 120 degrees right there, which is pretty nice. This is my coffee roaster setup. I started getting beans from uh, the coffee bean corral. I'm really happy with them. I've tried three different kinds. Also tried one from Brazil, and uh, all very good. This is my setup. This is a flour sifter from Amazon, complete with a little. 30 RPM 12 volt DC gearbox, little coupler. I rebuilt the inside, put a heavier shaft with a stainless steel paddle I welded in there. The screen on top, once in a while, um, you'll get a coffee bean jammed in there and it will blow your coffee beans out of the top when it comes undone. So, good to have that. Set up here is a uh, quarter cable heat gun. And if you take a look underneath, it kind of got it so everything sets in there. I'm not sure about that wooden piece I put there. It's getting pretty charred. Either I take it out or make one out of metal. But it has a cradle here for the motor to set here. And then when I cool it, it sets over here. This side is where my fan will be blowing later to cool everything down. That is the, the fan I saved off my uh, air popper, popcorn popper. That's how I used to roast coffee which you can only do about a fourth a cup at a time, maybe a half a cup. Now I can do two cups at a time. And there is my first batch in a gallon jar, and here is my second batch. Just a nice dark roast. I let them usually degas 24 hours before I grind them and use them. And that is where I store them in a, in a jar. Doing a little extra because it's a nice day and I want to have plenty to get me through the holidays, but normally I like to roast it and have it fresh on hand. You can hear it's starting to go into the uh, first crack. As you can see the color is getting a nice caramel color there. Now if you want just a medium roast, you can stop as soon as that first crack is done. But I take mine about 30 seconds into the second crack. Um, the temperature, if I was to put my heat gun in here, it'll get to about 450, sometimes 460 when I'm in my second crack. And uh, once I, you'll see once I get into my second crack, I only leave it in there for 30 seconds and I cool it, shut it down, take the heat off. But uh, you can see on these, the oil has started coming out just a, kind of a little bit. Nice shine to them. Yeah, coffee expands when you roast it. And that was two cups. But there's a nice first crack. This works pretty good. Got those yeah, those wider pieces welded on the outside there. Really turns it. Could have probably even made them wider. But it seems to be doing the trick. I get a pretty even roast. Might have a little darker one in there, but... Pretty happy with it. You really got to listen between the first crack and second crack. You will hear it stop, but you also just watch the color of the bean and you'll see it get darker and it'll smoke a whole lot more into the second crack. So I've got that gearbox hooked into a 12 volt DC converter and then it goes down into my roasting switch there. The other one is for the cooling and that has a 24 volt AC transformer running that little fan there and it works nice because it will also blow the chaff off that coffee 
That's another reason I like to uh, air roast versus pan roast is you get rid of that chaff in there. Sometimes I'll actually take an air compressor or a little my leaf blower and kind of hold it up here and blow some of that chaff off. But you got to be careful. You can blow your beans right out of here. And there's first crack yet. So if you wanted a medium roast, you could stop anywhere in here. And you'll hear this will stop shortly. I apologize, this is a longer video, but I wanted you to um, witness the uh, first and second crack on here. The whole process from the time I start till it's actually cooled down in, and I dump it in here is about 10 minutes. Okay, getting into that darker color now. First crack is ending. There we are, 440. To say I've, I've hit 460, but I, I try not to get it over that 450 mark. And I think that's still safe for coffee. There we are. Okay. Just starting our second crack here. There it goes. In what, 30 seconds? You can see a lot more smoke coming off now. Twenty seconds. Color. And we're gonna switch it over. on the cooling side, let it blow all that chaff off, turn off the heat, let it cool down. I'll usually keep it in here until it gets down to around 120 degrees, and then I'll dump it. Alright, thank you.